Hi, this is Eric Anderson from Accessible Housing Services, and this is a story of my Universal Design model house. In 1998, I started a medical supply company in Baltimore providing equipment and services to disabled individuals in their home. Working with my clients in their home, I realized how a disability restricted their living environment to one or two rooms. A hospital bed would be in the living room since there wasn't a main level bedroom, and a commode would be next to the hospital bed because the bathroom couldn't accommodate a wheelchair. At that time, I started studying accessible and universal design. Over the next five years, I continued to study, design, and implement universal design solutions for disabled individuals in their residential settings. Some of my clients would ask if there was a model home or a place where they could go and see universal design. At that time, there was no such resource. That's when I decided to build a universal design house. In 2005, I started to look for properties which would be ideal for the model house. This was a private venture. I wasn't receiving financial assistance, grants, or donations, so the project had to be cost effective. My goal was to demonstrate how accessible and universal design could be affordable for most of my clients. After several months, I finally located a small rancher in a Baltimore suburb which met the criteria. The house was a typical rancher. Steps to enter, narrow hallways and doors, small rooms, inaccessible bathroom, a step down into the kitchen, it was going to be a challenge making such a small house accessible. Over a seventh month period, my family and I gutted the entire house reusing only the exterior walls and several windows. Everything else was rebuilt with universal design concepts, materials, and products. During the remodel process, I was able to incorporate over 70 features of universal and accessible design into the house. Some of these features include reconfiguring the lot to eliminate the need for a ramp and to create an accessible parking area. All sidewalks are 42 inches wide with gentle slopes and no steps. Exterior doors are 36 inches wide, have a flat door threshold, and are flush with the interior floor. Floors throughout the house are continuous without change in elevation between the rooms. The floor plan has a 42 inch pathway in all rooms resulting in an open floor plan. The bathroom has a roll-in shower, ample space by the toilet for transfers, and a roll-under sink. The kitchen includes a roll-under sink, appliances with front controls, cabinets with pull-down shelves or pull-out drawers, and varying height countertops. The laundry appliances are front-loading, elevated on a pedestal, and have front controls. The house includes two accessible egresses, one in the front and one in the back leading onto the deck. Over the past five years, the house has received both local and national attention. Baltimore County Executive James Smith performed a ribbon cutting ceremony on the front porch in 2006, and I later received a Baltimore County Executive Citation for the project. The house continues to be featured in various local and national medias. In 2010-2011, a new house will be underway. This time, it will be a new build. The lot is cleared and ready for building, so things should be underway shortly. The house will have three bedrooms, two baths, and every area of the house will be accessible by incorporating universal design in all products, materials, and building methods. This is Eric Anderson, and thank you for watching my Universal Design Model House video.